to Chrono Commentary. I'm your host, Brent Garcia. Today we've got the Yurcraft Helicopter 3. This is a German watch. It's got a retrograde date. It's got a power reserve. It's got dual time zone. Really cool. Really, really heavy duty piece. Let's jump right into it. I'm excited to show this one to you guys. Well, all right then. This is what this watch comes in. <laughs> uh, I, I thought that maybe I got this because I bought this at from Watchismo on sale, I and it's it's still on sale. If you guys go to the Watchismo website, you can still find this watch for four ninety nine ninety nine. I got it. I think I got it for three ninety nine. It was a little bit more off, but apparently this is just what these come in. It's just a neoprene travel case with a really basic little printout that has instructions and things like that on it. I'm gonna walk you through all of that right now. Here we have the watch itself. This is the UK German Design Helicopter 3. This is a dual time zone. It's a 40 joule automatic movement. Now, if you watched my last video, I kind of just really, I got this one because it's super sick. I don't have anything that's this shape. I like the power reserve. And for 400 bucks, I think you can still get it for 500. It's a pretty sweet looking watch. And I would look at some of this UK, the Eurocraft on Watchismo because they have several of these models on sale. And it's a sweet deal for an automatic movement. I think the regular price on this one was like 1150. So it's a pretty sweet watch. Uh, stainless steel case. Let me get into some specs for you. It's a stainless steel case. It's 44 millimeters wide by 47 millimeters tall. So it's a really substantial piece. It's 13.5 millimeters thick. So it's a, it's a heavy, it's a heavy duty watch. Nice leather strap. I really like the detailing on that. The black PVD on the buckle, uh, the little screws on the bezel. It's just a kind of a cool industrial. It looks like a German designed watch. So um, yeah, that's, that's basically it. This has this really sweet bezel guard. I don't know if you guys notice this. This actually clicks down to expose the crown and that's how you can set your piece. So like I said, it's got the power reserve indicator here, 40 hour power reserve. It's got the retrograde date down below. Your second hand is in the center and then it's got uh, primary time zone one, time zone two. You, you can treat it however you want as far as which one you prefer to use. But let me get into this first. So when, we, when you first start winding the watch, you can see that power reserve moving up. And I mean, you know, some of these power reserves, like if you look at a Panerai or a Patek Philippe or Zenith, something like that that has a power reserve, typically you're spending a ton of money so on something like this where you're spending a couple hundred bucks, I, I just think it's a really nice touch. It makes it look very nice. It makes it look more expensive than, than it actually is. And same thing with the retrograde date is a nice feature. Now the date is tied to this button right here on the side. So if you want to change the date, you just push that button. Let me get closer for you guys. Just push the button and set your date. Now, as far as the time goes, you would work this like you would a normal winding crown. You just pull it out. This only has one position. To set the time, you if you if you turn your hands clockwise, you'll notice both hands are moving simultaneously. The hour hands are moving. One is set at a different time than the other. If you turn the minute hand counterclockwise, the Dial on the right will move, but this hour hand stays put. So that's how you set your, your second time zone. Now I would say be careful on how you set this because if you put this like say at 1130 right here where the hour hand's at 1130 and then you move this and you put it at 11 o'clock and then you go to reset it, that's always going to be off a little bit. So my recommendation to you guys if you're when you're setting these is set it so that it's either straight up and down or right at 12 or, or whatever. But you want it to be so that it's on 
so that it's properly on the hour. That way, when you go to set your dual time zone, you've got this lining up correctly so that when it's 12, 7 o'clock, it says 7 o'clock instead of the hour hand being halfway in between 7 and 8, so on and so forth. But that's it. There's not a whole lot to this other than it's super cool looking. It does look a little bit like a Mickey Mouse head. That's my only beef with this, and there's a lot of negative space on the rest of the dial. But that's how they had to fit it. And like I said, for the money, it was cool. It's a nice automatic. I like the shape. Let me show it to you on really quickly. So there you go. It's a nice heavy piece. It looks uh, it looks good on. Let me raise my camera up a little bit. You can get a little... As you can see, it, it does set pretty high off the wrist. It's a very thick case. But it it's cool. It wears really well. I like it. it it's pretty casual. But for, again, on this one, it's check out Watchismo for the money being on sale. I got a sweet deal on this. You guys should check it out. And until next time, guys, thank you so much.